Hi everyone, it's Stefan from EBC Brakes and welcome to our Tech Talks video series. So I'm here with Steve Payne today down at our Bristol Friction Factory. Steve, what are we going to be talking about? Well hi, yeah, Steve Payne, I'm a Research and Development Manager here and um, we're going to introduce the full range of automotive friction materials, starting with the standard black OE replacement pad and right through the range to full track race material. So I'm going to be asking Steve some of the most frequently asked questions about our pad compounds and he's going to be giving us the answers. So let's get into it. So welcome back to EBC's Tech Talk series. So today we're going to be looking at green stuff. Steve. So green stuff is uh, an upgrade pad from the standard Ultimax pad, um, road legal um, and slightly higher bite is what you'll find compared to the Ultimax. Okay, and what is it primarily designed for? It's a, it's a road legal uh, pad. It's aimed at the street rather than the track. And um, any, any vehicle, wide range, all Reg 90 approved. Um, but it's aimed at drivers who want to feel that little bit of extra bite when they first press on the brake pedal. Okay, so you say a little bit of extra bite. How does it compare to OE? In terms of its overall friction performance, it's, it's very similar to OE it just comes in that little bit quicker. So when you hit the pedal first, you just get that little bit of confidence from, from that extra bite that comes in. Okay, and as these are an upgrade over OE, can they be used on track? They're not designed for track use. It's a road-based road material. Um, if you're running a very light car, you might get away with it on a hill climb maybe where the temperatures aren't okay. too high, but generally, no, it's not a race material. It's a road material. Okay, and how do you make sure that the material doesn't come off of the baton plate on these pads? Well, these pads have this um, NRS retention system where we literally pull the material, the metal from the backing plate up in hooks out of the back plate, which provides a, uh, a mechanical attachment between the friction material and the back plate. And there's also a layer of adhesive in there as well, so it's really secure. Okay. And like we've touched on in other episodes, and I know it's hard to say, do these, um, do these make any noise? Do they squeak at all? Or We get very few incidents of squeal. Uh, you're always going to get an odd one or two. Any manufacturer will. But generally, no, it's a very quiet pad. Okay. Uh, will they work on any rotor of any brand? or And do they have to be new when you put these pads in? Or No, these are compatible with all, um, all standard cast iron rotors. Um, they don't need to be new, we can't expect people to change the discs and the pads at the same time necessarily. Um, but what we do have is this break-in coating on the front. So this is an abrasive layer, so if you have got a, a worn disc or a, uneven or a rusty disc, this will help it to bed in more quickly to a, a used disc. Okay. And would you say these are particularly dusty or more dusty than say an OE pad or is it really depend? No, no, you, you'll probably see less dust I would imagine than a, an OE pad. They're a, they're a very low ferrous pad. Uh, it's the ferrous content that tends to give you the problems with dust sticking to your wheels. Uh, so no, generally quite quite a low dust pad. Okay, and what is the best way to bed these pads in? Uh, the best thing to do is to refer to the uh, instructions that come in every box but uh, generally you're looking to take it pretty easy for the first 500 miles, um, obviously you stamp on them if you have to, but um, wherever possible, take it easy for the first 500 miles. It just allows the pad, particularly on a worn disc, just, just to conform to the shape of the disc and give you a good full contact between the two, which will bring your friction level up to where it needs to be. Okay, well thank you very much Steve for answering those questions. Um, next episode we're going to be talking about our orange stuff extra duty pads, um, so we'll see you then.